The Lord is my rock and my fortress yes, and my deliverer, yes, my God, yes, my strength, yes, in whom I will trust. Yes. My buckler and the Come horn on, of my yes. salvation Come and on. my high tower. I will call upon the Lord who is worthy yes. to be praised. Yes. So shall I be saved from yes, mine enemies. Yes. The sorrow of death compassed me and the floods of ungodly men made me afraid. The sorrow yes. of hell compassed me about the snares of death prevented me. In my distress I called upon the Lord and cried unto my God. We have my voice out of the spirit and my cry came before him even in the midst of the earth. Then the earth shook and trembled. The foundations, all of the hills moved and were shaken because he was wroth. There went a, a smoke out of his nostrils and fire out of his mouth. Devoured coals were kindled by it. Uh -huh. He bowed the heavens also and came down and darkness was under his feet. Yeah. And he rode upon a cherub and did fly. Yea, he did fly upon him, the wings of the wind. Yeah. He made darkness his secret place, his pavilion. Yeah. Round about him were dark waters and thick clouds of the skies. You know what I like about that? They always say the darkness belongs to the devil, but yeah. who knows that all of it belongs to the Lord. All of it! And the brightness that is the Lord in his thick clouds past hailstones and coals of fire. The Lord also thundered in the heavens, and the highest gave his voice hailstones and coals of fire. Yea, he sent his arrows and scattered them, and he shot out the lightning and discomfited them. Then the channels of water were seen, and the foundations of the world were discovered at thy rebuke. O Lord, at the blast of breath of thy nostrils, he sent from above, he took me. He drew me out of many waters. He yeah. delivered me from my strong enemy, and from which them he hated me, for they were too strong for me. They prevented me in the day of my calamity, but the Lord was my stay. He brought me forth and into a large place. He delivered me because he delighted in me. Yeah. The Lord rewarded me according to my righteousness, according to the cleanliness of my hands. Yes, hath he recompensed me. For I have kept thy ways of the Lord, and have not wickedly departed from my God. For all his judgments were before me, and I did not put away his statutes from me. I was also upright before him, and kept myself from mine iniquity. Therefore hath the Lord recompensed me according to my righteousness, according to thy cleanness, the cleanness of my hands in his eyesight. With the merciful, thou sh will shew thy... <laughs> thyself merciful with an upright man that will show thy, thyself upright with the pure wilt thou show thyself pure and with the forward thou will show thyself forward for thou will save the afflicted people but wilt bring down high looks for thou wilt light my candle the lord my god will enlighten my darkness for by thee I have run through a troop, and by my way, God, I have leapt over a wall. As for God, his way is perfect. The word of the Lord is tried. He is a buckler to all those that trust in him. This is the word of God for the people of God. Thanks be unto God. name of the Lord. Hallelujah, hallelujah. We celebrate the King of Kings, the Lord of Lords. And today we give Him glory. Today we give Him honor. Today we give Him praise. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Hallelujah, hallelujah. We are excited about what God is going to do in this place today. And as we go into our praise and worship, we ask that you will keep that excitement going. 
and that you would join in with our praise and worship team as they leave us further in this service. Let's give God praise as they come. Hallelujah. I'm sorry. After the announcement, we're going to our praise and worship. A quick seat as our first lady, Lady, lady Kimber, here with her. Marsha will come and give us our names. Prepare a gift of $25 or more monthly for our pastor. 
leaders are asked to do just a little bit more at fifty dollars monthly. Those money should be given to either trustee, trustee Taylor, trustee, will you raise your hand for me, or Elder Dominique. Um, you can give those to him, and they they will make sure that Pastor gets it. Last Sunday, Pastor um, did not take any. Um, pastoral support, uh, when well, you can take all of you put it back into the ministry. So this Sunday, I want you to go ahead and prepare your hearts as you have prepared your offering already to put something in the pastor's hand to bless him. Amen. Amen. Prayer is what keeps this church together and we have a strong leader at the helm. Join the prayer conference line. Everyone, we're part of this Lord's hand. That's Monday through Friday morning at 730. The number to join, say it with me if you know it, 712 775-7000 to be a part of this line unit access code 602-370-POUND it is the time for you to get your day straight it's the time for us to pray for our nation our families, friends, and our local church we have to grow by the word so we have Bible study every Tuesday night at 7.30pm 1st Peter chapter 2 verses 2 and 3 say like newborn babes crave pure spiritual milk so that by it you may grow in your salvation now that you have tasted that the Lord is good. Anybody tasted that the Lord is good? Yeah. Anybody know that the Lord is good? You don't want to miss this time of spiritual growth. You can find it on Facebook Live or you can um, find it for members of the city in our church group. Amen. Amen. This month is Family and Friends Month. Represented colleges, universities, sororities, and fraternities. Today we are representing superheroes. Next week it will be fatigue and fourth final Sunday. I am not sure what that is. Don't tell Pastor that I don't know. Remember, remember, remember. It's member appreciation. It's member appreciation. Hallelujah. And that date may change. But we definitely want you guys to make sure that you participate. I, I see everybody got their superhero stuff on. So thank you for being an active yeah. participant. Um, now, tentatively, third Sunday, which is next Sunday, will be Member Appreciation Day. This Sunday is a time to honor all of you guys and acknowledge um, what you mean to the city. Make sure you come. Make sure you bring your family. Make sure you bring your friends. Make sure you bring the kids. There's going to be food and games. So we want everybody to come. And it's going to be free to you. You know how the city does. We don't charge you for much. And food is definitely not on the list. So you guys will be blessed. The City of Champions is turning 10. festivities, we will have the City of Champions Full Gospel Church 10-year gala. Hallelujah. Tickets are on sale now and your time is running out. For singles, it is $75. For couples, it is $125. October 15th is on the horizon and after that, the prices will increase. Please see our financial department, that's Trustee Taylor, that's Elder Dominique, so that you can make sure that you have your tickets. We have people coming in from all over the United States. They are planning, they are purposing their hearts, they are ready to get their tickets now. City, we don't want a room full of visitors and the family ain't there. Amen. This is your party, so you bring yourself and pull somebody else in. Go and give me that $75, girl, come to this party. We're going to be cute, we're going to have fun, and we're going to celebrate what God has done for 10 years. Are you glad this ministry has been here for 10 years? a night. This is a block set that the host church, our, our sister church in Baltimore has already put together um, and it's $20 a day per additional person. I know that sounds weird but if you and your spouse are going to go or you or your girlfriend are going to go or you and your boyfriend are going to go, friends, not couples, not things at home. But they're going to have to pay you an additional $20 for every night that they are in the room. Okay, so that's what that means. Please know that the Bahamas does not play. They have people on every floor that are looking. They know when somebody went in your room and they verify how many people are supposed to be in the room because they want the coin. Amen? Amen. 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 So make sure that you go in yourself accordingly. 
but we're going to have to pray when it's time to check out. Hallelujah. All right. <laughs> Lastly, there will be no eating or drinking inside the main sanctuary. Excuse yourself to the hallway if due to health challenges you need to eat or drink. Please limit your walking through the word and altar call. COVID-19 is still a very real threat in our society. Please make sure that you are wearing your mask at all times, even if vaccinated, for the safety of yourself and others. Also limit contact with those around you unless they live in your household. We appreciate you for helping to keep the ministry and those that visit with us as safe as possible. Are you guys ready to continue in ministry? Yeah. Are you guys ready to continue in ministry? Yeah. It's time for praise and worship. Can you guys stand on your feet as we lift up the name of the Lord?
and it wouldn't let me in there. Yeah. But God said, I have a place so much judgment that's never restricted. <laughs>
I'm with a lot of people. But there's a lot of alone time. Yeah, 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 yeah. And doing that alone time. I can sing a personal hymn to, to my God and get a personal relationship. And because now I have that more free time to give him his due, he gives me my due. So now everything is not just I see it. But now if everything is a personal sermon to yeah. myself, yeah. to show me where God is taking me at. Yeah. So now I can walk freely and acknowledge that He is God. There's none like Him. There's nobody above Him. Can go to the highest heights to yes, the lowest Lord. low, yeah. and it'll still be God. Right yes. 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 I have no one to depend on but God. I just want you to get in your place of acknowledgement. So the good thing about a reroute is, 
talk about it. The place that we was going had storms in it. Uh -huh. The place that we was going was going to be a little bit bumpy. Uh -huh. So, it doesn't mean I couldn't have went there. But why should I have to go through it when I can go to a place that was calm? If the place that's calm is my promise, why am I willing to go through the storm to a place that's not promised to That's my only question. That's what we're going to do. It's all about the reason. Yeah. Hallelujah. 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 I got to get this. Let's get this in my life. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah.
So I can plant myself in any building as long as I have the people I have the church. Yeah, yes, sir. As long as we have members in the city, this place will keep growing. Amen. After 10 years of matriculation through this world, we're in a good place. Amen. And we're honored to have the leadership that we have. People are fighting over their pastors. Some people are getting rid of their pastors. Some people are. It, it, it's a lot going on. But we honor to have a pastor that loves us.
might as well do this. Uh, I ain't going. Burning fire. Answer <laughs> this for us. Where was she at? Glory, glory. Hallelujah. Since I laid my
Touch yourself and prophesy over your own life and say, My life is turning around. For life. Turn around. So you got to say it like you mean it. I, I, I ain't waiting on another word. I ain't waiting for somebody else to come confirm it. I'm going to prophesy over my own self that my life is turning around for me. Oh, yes. Sir. Come on, get your Bibles. Luke, the 10th chapter. Thank you, Jesus. Luke, the 10th chapter. Gotta read because my brother here, he don't think I preach, he think I just lay folks out. Slap them down. <laughs> so we're gonna read. Come on here. Luke the 10th chapter. Luke the 10th chapter. Amen. We're gonna start at the 30th verse. 
what the Lord says. And Jesus answered, saying, A certain man went from Jerusalem to Jericho, fell among thieves, who stripped him of his raiment, and wounded him, and departed, leaving him half dead. Yeah. And by chance there came down a certain priest that way, and when he saw him, he passed by on the other side. Yeah. And likewise a Levite, when he was at the place, came and looked on him and passed by on the other side. Uh -huh. Verse 33 says, But a certain Samaritan, as he journeyed, came where he was, and when he saw him, he had compassion on him. Well, 34 says, And when he went to him and bound up his wounds, pouring oil and wine, and set him on his own beast, and brought him to an inn, and took care of him. And 35 says, And on the morrow, somebody say the morrow. The morrow. When he departed, he took out two pits and gave them the host. And said, take care of him, and whatsoever thou spendest more, when I come again, I will repay thee. Father, we thank you now for preaching power. We thank you for your word coming with precision, Father, and accuracy. That your word is like a hammer, breaking the rocks to pieces. Father, speak to us, and we will hear you. Change our lives forever. Let somebody be healed, delivered, set free, saved. Feel with your Holy Ghost on today by your word. And this we do pray in Jesus' name. Amen. And be seated. In the presence of the Lord. We honor the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. As our Lord, our Savior, our life. Amen. We do honor. Amen. The shepherd and the shepherdess of this house. Amen. Pastor. Amen. And Lady Marsha. We have to have for that. We thank God for all of the elders, all of the staff here. I thank God for my wife. Amen. Pastor Graham. Hallelujah. I have some daughters and sons here. Amen. Elder Fee is with us. Amen. Daughter Percy is with us. Amen. Daughter Latoya is with us. My son here in the back. Glory to God. We thank God for those that were able to travel. Amen. And be with us. Amen. So I want to talk a little bit here. Amen. Today is the theme is about heroes. Amen. So that's why we're caked up and dressed up and whatever you have on. Amen. Because this hero you might like or you just picked it up because you seen this shirt on film. So it was good. So you snatched it. Amen. <laughs> So praise the Lord, amen. I don't have on, amen, a name. So I'm not really recognized today as a certain hero. You can't play Superman on me or Batman on me or Black Panther on me. But we're going to walk according to the word so you will understand why I have on nothing but that on the cake. But I promise I'm going to walk with you. So here the Bible talks about, amen, this man... Uh, was traveling from Jerusalem to Jericho. Amen. And the Bible says that as he was entering into this place, he was then robbed by thieves. Not just robbed, but listen here. He was robbed. He was stripped. He was wounded. He was left alone and left for dead. And so I will begin to read this on this morning. Go over it. I begin to talk about it. I said, well, Lord, I said, why you never told us why he was going from Jerusalem to Jericho? We understand that Jericho represents fragrance and all that good stuff and all the wall and all that good stuff. And we understand that Jerusalem is the holiest city. Amen. Glory to God. So he was traveling from one place to another place. On the way there, he obviously had something about himself where people saw him and wanted to rob him. Glory to God. You never want to rob somebody that's broke, don't look like they got nothing. Come on here. Amen. And you attack people that look like they got something going on. Praise the Lord. Amen. I'm going to tell just a few people in the room today. Amen. That you are being watched. Glory to God. Amen. You are being watched. Amen. Be careful how you carry yourself. The conversations you entertain. The places that you go. The people that you are being seen with because people are watching you. Glory to God. So as he began to travel going on about his own business, the Bible Bible says he fell into thieves and they robbed him. Yeah. Glory to God. In this season, Pastor, we have to be careful of who we call friends and brothers and buddies uh, because underneath all of the titles and the flattery and the clout, come on here, you will find 
mean that this is not your friend, your brother, your neighbor, but it is someone that has a desire to steal what you have. Prove it to me in the word. The Bible says that the husband had two wives and they both had babies. And one of them rolled over on her baby in the middle of the night. And she swapped the babies out in the middle of the night and gave the leg of the lady the dead baby and she kept the living baby. And when the lights came on, she said, no, 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 that's not my baby. My baby is here. What are you saying to me? I'm saying to you that people will be in the same house with you and try to steal. Y'all ain't talking up in here. And try to steal from what you have. Why? Because what they once had that was living is now falling and dying. And so now I want to replace your dead. Come on, shy. I want to give you what's dead and steal what is living. So be careful of who you allow to live in the same house with you, who you allow to be your besties. You know, we're like, oh, that's my bestie. That's my bro. That's all of that. And you give them access to your living things. So it says, next he was robbed. Oh then next God. he was stripped. He was yeah. stripped. He was yeah. stripped. Glory exactly. to God. Amen. Just like Jesus was stripped of his raiment. Don't you know people see what you carry, not physically, amen, but spiritually, emotionally, and mentally. Yeah. People see what you are carrying and they envy it. Y'all ain't talking in here. They envy what you have. And they say, well, how she got that and how he got that. I, they must be sleeping around to get that. Or, or they must be dead this to get that. But don't you understand, glory to God, that the favor of God, come on here, brings you into places where credit and money will never be able to take you. So I want to to explain to you how I got this. Just watch me do me. I got want to rob you and then they want to strip you of what you have and then they will turn around and wound you when you realize they're trying to steal from you and when you realize they're trying to strip you and you call them out uh oh uh oh you call them out you're supposed to be my friend you're supposed to be my buddy you're supposed to be my bestie and you try to steal from me come on here just a simple thing like somebody go on Facebook you post something they copy and post the same thing and don't even come on and acknowledge that you the one that's standing you a thief and a Come on here, you're a lying wonder. Ain't no truth in you. We got people that do that to us. Amen. That will come in your life and take things and steal things that you work hard for, you suffer hard for. Go over to God. Amen. And when you call them out on it, then they go behind your back and start wounding you. Start backstabbing you. Well, she ain't had none. If it wasn't for me, they wouldn't have had this or they wouldn't have got that. Or they wouldn't be driving this if I didn't co-sign her. Or they wouldn't that they should wouldn't have this. If when they didn't have no money, I bought the diapers. What are you yelling talking in here? Go over to God. When you're on your way to somewhere that gets something for we understand that the word Jericho means fragrance. Now you're on the way to a place of smell good, a place of prosper. Come on here. A place of overcoming, a place of better. You've been rerouted to better. Come on here. Thank you for the word, man of God. You've been rerouted for better, so you must understand sometimes God puts you on a course and when you're on that course, things happen to you. So you You've been stripped, you've been wounded. And after all of this, then they leave you there. Leave you there for dead. They already start telling people, oh, she ain't gonna make it. Oh, they ain't gonna do this. They ain't gonna be there. Here we go, 10 years later, y'all still here. They ain't gonna come on down the mountain or nothing. I heard the spirit of the Lord say, keep looking. I got some greater, something bigger. I don't know what that means, but he said, keep looking, keep my whole shot. He said, get on my shot. He said, keep looking. He said, who have seen this house in a form of glory? I want you to know that this house, that I'm a whole shy. Glory to God. The Spirit of the Lord says, I'm sorry, I gotta, I'm gonna come back to this. The Spirit of the Lord will say unto you, he says, what I got for you, he says, what you're thinking is too small, don't know what it means. He says, but I want to expand your horizons, that's the Spirit of the Lord. He says, I want you to go for something that you know you can't afford. That's why I'm gonna show you that I'm God. I want you to go somewhere in a 
that neighborhood, we say, well, I ain't going to be able to afford this. That's why I want you to go, says the Spirit of the Lord. Because I'm going to show you and show the people in the book. Come on here. And the people that got to give you the money, I'm going to show you that I'm God. And I say what you, says the Spirit of the Lord. I want y'all to understand that this is not the last phase, says the Spirit of God. But you're transitioning to bigger and better because he he on the rerouted you. I think you look at somebody and say, God is rerouting us. That's the word for this house. God is rerouting you. On your way to the next place, God is rerouting you. And I want you to hear this. I thought I'd go to my finish my message. I also hear him say, he says, in there are going to be people, glory to God, that are going to pour and to fund you, says the Spirit of the Lord. I see people saying, what do you need? How can we be assistance? I see people sending chairs. I see people sending things that you will need, says the Spirit of the Lord. And I will not let you be made ashamed. And you will not be in debt, says the Spirit of God. For I shall go before thee, and I will make the crooked path straight, says the Spirit of the Lord. In every high place, I will bring down. Clap your hands for the word of the Lord. Please. Hallelujah. So he says, I'm trying to get through this, Lord, to God. So I can say whatever y'all that God want me to say to y'all. Amen. He says, okay, so as he was laying there, the Bible says there were people that walked past him. The first person that walked past him was the priest, was the elder, was the church. Was the apostles, was the prophets, was the evangelists that walked past him. And the scripture says that they walked on the other side. Meaning, I didn't even want to be on the same side as you because of the predicament that you were in. So, I'm going to be on the opposite side of you. Have you ever experienced church folks that will walk on the opposite side so they won't have to speak to you? They'll walk on the opposite side and act like they didn't see you. Come on here. Have you ever walked up on church folks that's nice nasty? Come on here. I said Nice, nasty. Come on, y'all ain't talking in here. But they want to preach, they want to prophesy, they want to lay hands. But you just saw me at the Walmart and you went the opposite way because you didn't want to speak. You saw me at the mall and you went up the escalator so you wouldn't have to walk past me. We're talking about the priests, the holy ones, the sick ones, the ones of God. See the people dying, see the people losing their lives, and they decide to walk on the other side because we got the priests that don't want to get their hands dirty, don't want to do nothing, don't want to labor, don't want to build. Come on here. I don't want to touch them because they ain't clean right now. They don't look too good. I got on my robe. I got on my, my good stuff. I got on my, come on here, I got on my clergy. Don't you understand? When you put that stuff on, it symbolizes that you are a slave or a servant. Come on here. That means you're here not a servant to God, but a servant to people. Y'all ain't talking. So many times we think, oh, I'm coming to serve God. I'm coming to serve God. What about God people. He put us here to serve God people. Prove it to me in the word. I believe I will. The Bible says the greatest among you let him serve. He wasn't talking about God. He said serve the people. So I'm almost gone. So I forgot to give y'all the name of my title. Sorry I'll get back to that in a minute. The next person that passed by him was the Levi. Uh -huh. So I was reading, I started laughing when I was reading on the Levites because the word Levi means joint together. Yeah. That's what it means. It means with harmony. Yeah. yeah. So when harmony and joint together show up to a place where somebody's dying, y'all ain't talking to here. Show up to a place where somebody is sick. It looked like it would make common sense for joint together in harmony to help the person that's dying. Y'all ain't talking in here. But sometimes when people have been brought out of the same and they finally get themselves together, they forget about where they come from. And so, no, I'm not reaching back. No, I'm not digging down because I'm better than that now. I want to tell you that's a prideful spirit. And God hate a pride look. Come on here. You got to always remember where you came from because there's going to be somebody that was in the same place that you were in and they might need your help. Come on here. So the last person in our I'm almost done. The last person that walked past this man that was robbed, beat, 
stripped, departed, and left for dead was a no name person. It never mentioned the name, it never mentioned the title. It just said good Samaritan, a person that was walking by. And if I would have to give you a subject in the top of the day, my subject would be the unnamed hero. The unnamed hero. So that's why, that's why I don't have nothing tatted across my chest or nothing on my cape because what happens is a lot of times people get caught up in the name that's on the chest, in the name that's on the head, in the name that's on the ring. So it says here that there was a certain man, a certain Samaritan that walked by and saw this man and one virgin said polluted in his own blood. And the Bible says that he took him and began to bind up his wounds. A lot of times people won't do nothing if they don't have no acknowledgement. Or if they don't have a title. Or pastor don't assign them to something. I've never seen such a lazy church in this generation. If they don't ask me to pick up trash, I ain't picking it up. If they don't ask me to clean the bathroom, I ain't cleaning the bathroom. If they don't ask me to stay after the church to straighten the chairs, I'm going to be the first one in the car. Come on and talk in here. So the Bible says that man without the name without the title begin to get down and begin to wrap up the wounds of this person that was on the ground so many times people wait for somebody to assign them how to do something but when you got good in you to do good you ain't waiting on nobody to tell you what to do you ain't waiting on the crowd to be there the reason why the priest did not do it because there was no the praise him when he did it. The reason why the Levites didn't do it. Because they didn't have the rest of the team to praise him when they did it. But the Bible says, I said the Bible says that a good Samaritan came along and saw him. And he had compassion on him. Where the church with the compassion. We don't love people. We don't care about people. We just want to take but never give, give, give. I believe I'm preaching. Feel it today. I said, I believe I'm preaching. Like I feel it today. And I'm going to get on the road and head back to Florida. But I hear God say, He said, In this season, I ain't passing out titles, I ain't passing out names. But I'm pulling the people from behind the curtains. I'm That don't want to be called. That don't want no accolade. But I'm calling on the ones. I said I'm calling on the ones with no titles. Glory to God. Yes, yes. So we gotta understand that the hero with no name. Sometimes the ones with no titles have more power than those with titles. to leave the titles and get to the altar and work and seek God. People are dying every day. People are dying all in our face. And we're sitting here being self-righteous, being holy denied. And we forgot that we were in the same place. Don't you understand? I heard them sing the song. They say hell is deep. Hell but we sung it a little bit different down in the country in Madison, Florida. We say hell is deep, hell is wide, got no bottoms, got no sides. Y'all ain't talking, you gotta understand. If you don't get yourself together, come on and talk in here. There's a place that's made, made for you. I know they don't preach that no more. I know they don't preach hell. Glory to God. But the that walk beside somebody that's dying and you don't help them glory to God you will be accounted by God glory to God don't let your title fool you come on and call help me preach in here if you would sit on your feet on your feet glory to God yes Lord look at the and say neighbor I'm not looking for a title say neighbor I'm not looking for a title but I'm looking 
You are not what you've done. You can live now. You can live now. I have so much for you. I have so much laid out for you. I have so much planned for you. Don't you get trapped. Don't you get entangled. I got so much. You have so much to live for.
God say.